Hey guys, it's Campbell in Campbell shop today. Uh, I'm back. Haven't posted a video in quite a while. Um, got busy, got doing other things. Got, wasn't feeling too well most of the summer, so I didn't do a whole lot that way. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, it's not an update on the T. Uh, it's an update on another project. We've got right now, um, I'm going to bring you a little closer and I'm going to flip the camera and give you an idea of where I'm sitting. Very cool old dash. Hey, very cool old steering wheel. It's, so the glare's not there, look at that, Oldsmobile. Here's the dash. The clock is part of the glove box door. Um, we've already started tearing it apart. I'm going to get out and show you what it is. I don't have a tripod or anything here today, so forgive me if you're, I'm a little shaky. It is a 1946 Oldsmobile Series 66. Let's get the Aero Coupe, the slope back window uh, this body style has been like on my bucket list for years i always think of the chef fleet line when i think of this body style but a lot of times you can get the deal on the other brands right? everyone thinks of the the most common one oh i ran into something and that's exactly the case with this one um I'm not going to tell you the exact number that I paid for it um, because a lot of you would say, you stole it. Um, but the guy got it. Uh, it was a barn find from across the road from him. He didn't, he was thinking of building it, thought, nah, I don't have the time for that. I'm going to pass along down the road. And I told him what I do. He thought it was cool. And the fact that it's actually going to get something done to it, um, that was great. So I got it for way less than I think it, it would retail for. I'll just leave it at that. Um, she got the big, the big butt on her. Body-wise, yeah, okay. She's got some stuff going on. We've got the hood off already. It's over in the corner. Uh, that hinge won't go down, so it was holding the hood up. So we pulled it out of the way. It has in it a 238 flathead straight six, or an L head actually. Um, it's going bye bye. Actually, a few weeks ago. That's another old flathead straight six or L head straight six. That one's out of a 37. And I didn't even know I was getting this car when I got that engine. It was two completely random things. So basically the same engine, except this is a 238 and the older one, the 37 is a 230. So we are putting this together, or I'm putting this together. I'm going to do an engine swap and put a small block Chevy in it so it will actually get out of its own way. We looked up the original specs and it said like zero to 60 in 21 seconds um, and like 22 seconds in the quarter mile. Um, yeah, that's just not gonna cut it. So anyway, we've, the kids gave me a hand. We pulled the rad out of it. The rad, is, well, it's over there behind the toolbox. The rad is in super shape. It has to have been replaced at some point. Um, we've got all the wiring unhooked out of the front. We're going to replace it. We're not going to run that old cloth covered. Um, down in here, the cloth insulation. And it's all broken and cracked. And it's just a recipe to burn a car down. So we're going to eliminate that, put 12 volt system in it and see what happens. I'm going to swap out the rear for a 12 volt and we're going to put, it's an automatic car now, 
Get a T5 we're going to put in it and hang another pedal the way it should be. And uh, body wise, if anyone has or knows where I can find 46 to 40. 46 and 47, old 66 or old 68, um, fenders, doors, well this door doesn't seem as bad as the other one, the other one, the bottom's all rotted, uh, front fenders, rear fenders, doors, and I'm curious, back to me for a second, I'm curious, because I don't know if it works or not, because this is considered uh, from the mid 40s a uh, GMB body uh, looked it up in the uh, ex parts exchange manual or the parts interchange manual and it says to fit this I'm getting a little close here to fit this it's 46 47 old 66 or 68 but what question I have because it's the same platform the same chassis the same center section of the body Will the fleet line or Chev fleet line or uh, Pontiac torpedo, will those fenders work? Obviously, they're not going to have, and I'll back around here. The Oldsmobile has that line on the top of the fender. Right? It's cool. I'm not a purist. I don't care if I have that or not. If I could find fleet line fenders that don't have that but still bolt it on and work perfectly fine, I'm good with that. Or if I knew someone that had one, even if it was a, if it was a crap fender, I'd like to get it the same as the back ones. I think the backs are exactly the same, but I'm not still. I'd have to have one to try. If you knew anyone that has one, even if it's garbage, that I could just hold up to it and pull one of these off, bolt it on, see if everything bolts up, it might work. I, I think it will, but I don't know. It just opens up the options of where to shop, what to find. They make reproductions for the uh, for the fleet line. They don't, or I can't find yet, for the Oldsmobile. If you know of any, let me know. Drop me a comment. So what do you think of the project? Um, again, I'm going to flip you around to me. Let me know what you think of the project. It looks way cooler with the hood on. Now, my thought is stick with the flat the hot rod black obviously it needs body work um, but I'm not worried about body work right now we're just gonna work on get it swapped make it run make it move make it steer make it stop then once all that's done and the holes I'll just plug the holes with whatever I have at hand um, get it on the road I can work on body work on it later on. Um, let me know what you think of it. And uh, get out in your shop. Don't forget to wear your safety glasses, which I don't have on right now. Oh, before I go, last night, this is, what is it, December, today's the 19th, I think, of 2023. Um, the last time this car was, well, inspected anyway, I can get this to focus, there we go. See down here, where is it? That is March of, there was a date here, 1980. Yeah, right here in the center. Oh, getting blurry again. Yeah. Anyway, it says 79, 80, 81. It's punched out in 80. So it's been off the road since at least 1980, possibly the, uh, and I'm guessing, the end of the summer of 79. Um, bunch of wire so we can rewire everything, 12, uh, 12 volt. Anyway, I'm going to go finish my and think about getting this thing done and go home and work on the other project hopefully now I get a little fire lit under me I'll get some I'm all over the place here 
uh, get some of this stuff done. Hopefully we'll go drag racing the tea in the spring and then at the Pine Tree Jamboree and well this year it was in September, they, they changed the date. Uh, hopefully make it there for sure for September. I'd like to go to the one in May at Oxford Speedway but it's right in between two other events so I don't know if I can make everything. I want to go to Epping, the New England Nationals which is the week after and I got some other stuff going on the week before, so I don't know if I'll make it to uh, to the Northeast uh, drags, vintage drags at uh, Oxford, New Oxford Plains Dragway or not, but definitely at Pine Tree Jamboree at Winterport Speedway in Maine in September. Who knows, maybe I'll tow it to the races with this. Have a great day, guys.